My name is Robert Campbell. I'm a brigade captain. What that means is I'm just one of the co-organizers. One of my cohorts is here, right here in front, Ian Henshaw. He's a co-captain with me. And Code for Carry is a civic hacking organization. We take public data, we take information that's available to all of us, right? We can all find stuff all the time if you search hard enough and try to repackage it, rebuild it, reform it, and reshape it so it becomes something that's more useful for all of us. So in partnership with the Heart of Cary, which we interface primarily with Carolyn here, um, we have been working on two different approaches. One is gonna be a website, so when you're at home on your desktop, you can look at stuff. The second part's gonna be an app. So what we'll do is, is let's take a look I'm hoping the demo gods are kind. We're about to find out. All right. So here's a working prototype of the website. Uh, we're about, I would say, if I had to give a number, about 90% there. Uh, so we've got a couple, like we've got to land on this page. We've got to tell you what it's about more, more than just me telling you up front. I'm, I'm not gonna go to everybody's house and say, this is what this page is about. We're gonna put a landing page up there. You'll see more of that in the app in just a second. But basically what you do is, you look at this app, um, and I also wanted to kind of lean in. One thing we always hear, or one thing I hear from a lot of people is, I come to downtown Cary, there's no place to park. You see all those red squares? Those are places to park in downtown Cary, okay? So, let's say you wanted to go to Ashworth Drugs, okay? You type that in, it drops a marker showing you exactly where Ashworth Drugs is. And then you can say, well, this looks like a parking lot. You click on that, it gives you the information, how many spaces are there, right? And then you can hit the directions and it dumps you off to Google Maps to say, here's your route to get there, okay? So that's gonna work on your desktop, that way, okay? We've also got a way that you can provide feedback. Again, like I said, this is about 90% there. So one of the calls to action that you're gonna hear from me is, you can see we're almost ready for prime time. So when I look out here and I see all these faces, you're my prime targets for the folks who can test this and tell us, is it working the way you think it should work? Is it intuitive? All those wonderful things. Uh, we've had a lot of engagement so far, so we're just gonna to look to continue that wonderful engagement. Now, I mentioned an app. So what I have here is an iPhone emulator that I think, or I, I, yeah, I think I can make it bigger. Don't you wish you could do that with a real one? <laughs> so you'll see this looks like any regular iPhone, but there's a little logo here designed by Gary, uh, who actually gave us this image. And if you click on this app, just like you would do in any regular phone, the first thing I'll tell you is we're engineers. Okay, we don't understand color schemes. And if that's not evident, then uh, you're, you're, maybe you need more glasses than I do. But you can see this is the landing page I was talking about. And this basically, when you launch the app, tells you this is done in partnership with the Heart of Cary by a group of volunteers who pulled this together, right? We click continue. Very similar, right? Now this is on your mobile device as you're walking around, you know, downtown. Same thing applies here. You type in that same Ashworth Drugs. It drops a pin, zooms in to the location, right? And the same thing. You can pick the parking lot, and it gives you data on there, and then you can do directions. Now, the mobile app is a little bit further behind than the web page. It takes a little more effort to build uh, an app than it does a web page. But you can see we've got get directions as well as find parking. One of the things we're looking to do is add preferred parking. When it's a known business and we know this is their parking lot, we want to be able to say, this is their parking lot, route you there, as opposed to kind of just leaving it up in the air, right? That's one of the things we're looking to wrap up as we continue this. So these are the prototypes as they are right now. And like I said, we're about 90% complete. So the next steps will be that we're going to be calling on all of you uh, through Carolyn here and through the Heart of Carry Association. And we'll provide you with links to download, install, as well as the web links to look at. And we encourage you to give us your helpful
critical feedback because we want to make this something that benefits the heart of Cary, something that benefits the town of Cary, something that benefits the people and the businesses in Cary. So as you can see, this is the version one. Any ideas that might be coming to your minds right now, we want to hear them because we intend this to evolve, okay? What we don't have is we don't have a way to tell you what parking is available right now, except for select spots around on the town campus. They've got uh, measured parking where we can actually tell if a car is parked there or not. But other ideas like, you know, how to represent business data, what the interaction should be between the person using an app or using the web page and a business, what should that look like? And how do we continue to develop this? So that sort of feedback we want to hear from you as well. So love to hear your ideas. But definitely, this will be launching probably in the next few weeks. We actually are literally in the process now of applying to get our rights to publish this in the app stores and the, uh, the stores for your phone. Uh, and we're, we've gotten approval to get it hosted. So we're going to be getting this online very, very soon. Uh, so look for those links, look for that information, and uh, we look for your feedback. And thank you all for your assistance thus far. Really appreciate it. Are there any questions, comments, good drink recipes? How do we um, how do we do feedback? So how do you do feedback? So right now we kind of got it buried, but there's a little info button. We're gonna we're gonna enhance that to make it a little more obvious that that's the feedback button. But we do have something like that already there. Uh, and another and one other thing we're doing is we are tracking clicks on this, not you, but what was clicked, right? So we know that Ashworth Drugs is very popular or. Whatever, for whatever reason. Carolyn? Hi, I just wanted to, you know, I'm from Carolyn Passive. I'm working with Code for Carry on this. Um, and I just wanted to liaison with the hard carry. If you have any initial ideas, even before you get into and start playing around with the app, please just email email me at communications at hardcarry.org. Perfect. Yes? Are going to be sending out an email to us and it's going to make it Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, okay. well, you kind of answer my question. I want to oh. know what is the website address? Right. This, 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 this is live on the internet right now, but it's not the final version. Right? We're going to get it hosted in a proper location and then send out that information. What's the name of the app? So right now, the, the overarching name of this platform is Carry Connects. So this is Carry Parking on Carry Connects. Uh, and we actually have registered the domain name carryconnects.us and carryconnects.org. Have you thought about, dude, where's my car? <laughs> <laughs> there are actually apps for that already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank All right. you. Nice. Thanks. <laughs>